The idea of a canal across the Isthmus of Panama had been a dream for centuries, but it was in the late 19th century that it gained momentum. Recognizing the strategic importance of a shortcut between the oceans for military and commercial purposes, the French, under Ferdinand de Lesseps, initiated the construction in the 1880s. However, due to financial mismanagement, engineering miscalculations, and the deadly challenges posed by the Panamanian environment, the French attempt ultimately failed. In 1904, the United States, under President Theodore Roosevelt, took up the challenge. The strategic significance of a canal connecting the two oceans was critical for American naval power and global trade dominance. With a newfound understanding of tropical diseases, particularly malaria and yellow fever, the U.S. launched a comprehensive public health campaign to safeguard the thousands of workers involved in the construction. Dr. William Gorgas led the efforts to combat the mosquito-borne diseases, implementing measures to control the mosquito population and improve sanitation. Malaria emerged as a formidable adversary during the construction. The Anopheles mosquito, prevalent in the Panama region, transmitted the disease, leading to widespread illness and death among the workforce. The harsh conditions of the jungle, coupled with the lack of effective medical knowledge, created a formidable obstacle. Malaria outbreaks threatened to derail the entire project, raising questions about the feasibility of building a canal in such a challenging environment. Malaria emerged as a formidable adversary during the construction. The Anopheles mosquito, prevalent in the Panama region, transmitted the disease, leading to widespread illness and death among the workforce. The harsh conditions of the jungle, coupled with the lack of effective medical knowledge, created a formidable obstacle. Malaria outbreaks threatened to derail the entire project, raising questions about the feasibility of building a canal in such a challenging environment. The fight against malaria became a paramount concern for the U.S. canal builders. Dr. Gorgas implemented an ambitious plan to control the mosquito population by draining swamps, installing screens on living quarters, and enforcing strict sanitation measures. The campaign was a tremendous success, significantly reducing the incidence of malaria and yellow fever. Gorgas's efforts not only saved lives but also ensured the continuity of the construction project. However, challenges persisted, and a more potent solution was needed to completely eradicate the mosquito menace. The breakthrough came in the 1940s with the discovery of dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, DDT, a powerful insecticide. DDT's application proved to be a game-changer in the battle against mosquitoes, leading to a drastic reduction in malaria cases. The introduction of DDT allowed for the acceleration of construction efforts, as the threat of mosquito-borne diseases diminished. While DDT played a crucial role in the success of the canal, its environmental impact would later raise concerns, contributing to a nuanced legacy for this chemical solution. To disrupt the mosquitoes' breeding grounds, extensive drainage projects were initiated. Swamps and stagnant water sources, ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes, were systematically drained, reducing the mosquito population and minimizing the risk of malaria transmission. Simultaneously, stringent sanitation measures were implemented, ensuring proper waste disposal and minimizing environments conducive to mosquito breeding. Recognizing that personal protection was essential, living quarters were equipped with screens to prevent mosquitoes from entering. This not only safeguarded the health of the workers but also created a more conducive living environment, reducing the prevalence of malaria within the canal zone. While the initial measures yielded positive results, the breakthrough came with the introduction of DDT in the 1940s. This powerful insecticide proved to be a game-changer, effectively eliminating mosquitoes and drastically reducing the incidence of malaria. DDT's widespread application allowed construction efforts to proceed at an accelerated pace, marking a turning point in the battle against mosquito-borne diseases. The control of malaria during the construction of the Panama Canal was a multifaceted approach. The understanding of the Anopheles mosquito's role in disease transmission prompted a comprehensive strategy. Draining swamps, implementing sanitation measures, screening living quarters, and ultimately employing DDT collectively formed a layered defense against malaria. The success of these measures not only protected the health of the workforce but also ensured the timely and efficient completion of the canal, 
marking a triumph over one of the most formidable challenges faced during this monumental engineering endeavor. While DDT was effective in controlling mosquitoes during the construction of the Panama Canal, its use had unintended consequences. The widespread application of DDT eventually led to environmental issues, particularly harming bird populations. The chemical's persistence in the environment and its impact on ecosystems raised concerns, ultimately leading to the ban of DDT in several countries and highlighting the delicate balance between solving immediate problems and considering long-term environmental consequences. The completion of the Panama Canal in 1914 had profound economic and strategic implications. The canal transformed global trade patterns, providing a shortcut for ships and reducing travel time between the Atlantic and Pacific. It facilitated the rapid movement of goods and military vessels, enhancing the United States' influence in the Western Hemisphere and beyond. The economic benefits were substantial, as the canal became a vital conduit for international trade, cementing its status as one of the world's most critical maritime passages. In conclusion, the construction of the Panama Canal stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Overcoming the challenges of disease and unforgiving terrain, the canal became a symbol of triumph over adversity. Its strategic and economic impact endures, underscoring its significance as a conduit that connects nations and reshapes the course of history.